less than a year, Jen Yaman has ascended to become one of the most prominent rising stars in international entertainment. Wherever he goes, his public appearances draw massive crowds of adoring fans. The Turkish actor's natural charisma, sharp wit, laid-back demeanor, and keen intelligence can turn anyone into an instant fan, even those unfamiliar with his work. Stanislav Kimchev had the pleasure of meeting Jan in person during his promotional tour in Ken for his hit series Daydreamer. The excitement surrounding his visit was palpable, with fans occupying nice airport and key locations in Ken well in advance, hoping to catch a glimpse of him. On social media, there were even videos of elderly women nearly fainting at the sight of the Turkish star. The atmosphere resembled the Cannes Film Festival more than an industry event like MIPCOM. Given this, Stanislav Kimchev focused on personal rather than business topics in his brief but special interview. Jan, it has been a fantastic year for you and Daydreamer. You have become an international superstar. Congratulations! Why do you think this story appeals to viewers around the world? Nowadays, on Netflix or other streaming services, there's a lack of romantic comedies, especially in the US. And worldwide, instead, we see series like Ozark, Lucifer Dark, Stranger Things, Black Mirror, or House of Cards or different kinds of shows. Rom-coms are still cherished, but no one makes them anymore. Old rom-coms often featured an unattractive guy pursuing a beautiful woman. Bute Dreamer is different. Both the guy and the girl are attractive and funny. They improvise a lot, and the comedy is genuine and down-to-earth. The love story is adorable, and the characters constantly question who they are. Your screen partner is Demet Ozdemir. You play her boss and fall in love with her? Was it challenging to work together? It wasn't challenging, it was liberating. For the first time, I worked with an actress who made me feel calm and confident. The Met is incredibly talented and loves improvisation, which I enjoy as well, though it can be risky. But with the Met, we often improvised about 60% of the series, changing the script as we went. You can feel the improvisation and the characters are original. The chemistry between us is extraordinary, which is why Daydreamer stands out. My character, for instance, has become a style icon in Turkey and beyond. This harmony and chemistry between the actors made the show a fantastic rom-com. You speak about this project with such passion. It's like my child, this show. I love it. Another interesting fact about you is that you are also a lawyer. How did that come about? Being an actor was always a dream, but I also loved studying. I attended an Italian high school and was passionate about languages and reading. I have a good memory and was a successful student. I'm social and enjoy convincing people, not just in Turkish but in other languages too. So I decided to study law. I enjoyed learning and solving legal problems, but during my internship, I realized the practice differed greatly from the theory, especially with the corruption in Turkey. I started at PwC as an attorney, but I found the work environment stifling. I am hyperactive and needed to be out and about. What about TV? What are your favorite shows? I watch a lot of series and movies, especially older American ones like Californication, How I Met Your Mother, Friends, House, and Prison Break. The newer U.S. series are more into fiction, fantasy, and technology. I am more into down-to-earth shows. I focus on the characters, like House or the smart guy in Prison Break. If I adore or relate to a character, I watch the series or movie. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more videos.